Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. Today we're going to be uh, trying out an auto beverage heater. I uh, picked this up a little while ago, I think a couple of days ago or something. Um, still in the box, haven't used it before. Uh, don't think it was used either. Uh, swung by and got some coffee. We're going to try coffee, instant coffee that is. And uh, what else did I get? Uh, yeah, I got a bottle of water here. Um, also got a thermometer because I want to check the, uh, it says boiling, it'll boil, so I'm not sure if that's the case or not. We don't need boiling water, uh, but uh, we'll try to check that out. Um, I just want to say that it is a pretty cold day here. It was uh, below freezing last night, and the ground is still frozen. I think it might have gotten up to about 36 today, maybe 37, um, and it's, I'm sure it's dropped from that since, but I don't think it's down to freezing yet, but it is, I think it's pretty cold. I, I'm not comfortable in this weather. So we're going to try this out. Let me show you what we have. So here it is, the auto beverage heater. It's like a thermos. We've got the cup that screws on. This is 18 ounces. You can see the, uh, the heater, heating element in there maybe. Okay, and of course this is activated by a 12 volt uh, car, truck, uh, battery, a cigarette lighter I should say. So uh, we'll be pouring our liquid in here and it's going to be water uh, for the coffee. Uh, probably won't do 18 ounces, I think a bottle of water, probably, probably do like 12 ounces. The um, reason I'm saying that is because the coffee that I'm going to be making here says that uh, one uh, one little pod or strip or whatever it is of uh, instant coffee per uh, six ounces so we'll probably do two cups so probably do 12 ounces uh, okay let's uh, go ahead and get the water out our right, beverage heater um, I wasn't able to put it in my uh, cup holder it's too big for that could put it here on the console but it'd be kind of cramped um, can't put it over there on the glove box um, so we're just going to put it here and be very careful need to make sure of course that the uh, the length of the uh, cord is long enough to reach and we're going to go up to we're going to go about I guess about 12 It'll be two, two cups all right there we go all right, so a couple of ways we could do this. We could uh, just heat the water and then we could uh, pour it in the cup. And then we could put our coffee in the cup. I think what I'll do is I'll put two of these. Uh, I guess they're like little strips. I think I'll go ahead and introduce those right into our beverage heater. I think that'll be okay. So I'm going to open up two of these. We're going to pour it in here. And then we'll plug this thing in. Here we go. This is a Folgers Classic Roast. All right, let's grab the other one. I think I paid a dollar twenty-nine for this box of uh, six, I believe, at uh, Kroger. Here we go. All right, let's um, put the lid on this thing. Before doing that, let's just go ahead and plug it up. All right. All right, so we'll just, uh, yeah, I don't see a light on here showing that it's working. Um, so I'm gonna put the lid on real good and secure this so I don't drop it. Or if I do drop it, it didn't spill everywhere. That's supposed to screw on, but... Yeah, let me work with that a little bit better, and I'll get right back. All right, got the lid on secure. We're just going to kind of swirl it around a little bit. Sit it back. I'm going to start my Jeep. So there's not a drain on the battery. And uh, we will uh, try to find out if this thing is heating or not. Move this around a little bit. 
I don't see any kind of light. So I just gotta assume that's working. Uh, let's see what time we're starting at. Uh, let's say uh, 11.40. You know, we could probably take this cap off. Uh, I thought if I leave the cap on, it may it may warm up faster. That's probably not gonna matter. Looks like it's kind of that might have been where I kind of steered it up a little bit. All right, if it starts warming up, I'll let you know. But right now, yeah, I I can feel it warming up. I can feel this plastic. Uh, the outside of it is kind of getting warm slightly so uh, it is working it is on let's go ahead and check uh, the temperature outdoors kind of get an idea how cold it is I mean it's not terrible I'm sure there's lots of places where it's much colder. It is, uh, is it 34 degrees. Uh, so just about freezing. It is uh, January the January the 17th, I believe, 2024. So this would probably be best if you're um, driving, and then uh, when you know by the time maybe you get to your destination. Uh, work if you're, if you're just taking a break or whatever just want to have a cup of coffee and get out um, I'm guessing maybe 10 minutes or something but uh shoot who knows it could be longer than that but yeah driving and then when you get to wherever you want to have a coffee at then you get or your lunch maybe a lunch break or something um, then it would be ready for you uh, here we're just on the making of this video I'm just sitting in my Jeep here um, it's kind of unplanned um, all right, got an update. Let me show you the time again. Um, hasn't been that long. Uh, four minutes. So, um, took the cup off because I realized I'm not going to be able to feel how hot the liquid is by just feeling the container. Because the container is really not even warm. But I took the cup off and uh, it's hot. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's steam coming off it. See that? That's been like five minutes, less than five minutes. All right, let's check the, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get an accurate reading here because that element is, the heating element is down at the bottom. Let's see. So we're gonna aim it right there. 143 degrees, that's five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. I didn't expect that. You can see it. Uh, look at that. Look at the steam coming off. All right, I'm going to try to set up here so I can use two hands um, instead of filming. And we're going to try to have a cup here and we'll see if it's, if it's hot enough. Five minutes to uh, actually what I would like uh, the temperature to be. So uh, I'll get right back. Let's go ahead and uh, pour us a cup. Tomorrow might be in the way. All right, here we are. Let's pour us a cup. That's good. Oh, look at that. See that? Check that out. All right, here we go, first taste. That's pretty hot. That's about what I would uh, get from a Keurig. Yeah. Coffee's okay, but the temperature, yeah. That's not bad, really, it isn't. I mean, coffee's not great, but uh, the, 
the temperature on this thing in five minutes and we're ready to have um, a cup of coffee we could have done um, cho hot chocolate we should have bought some hot chocolate too um, I'm pretty impressed yes and I've got another cup left so if you're a um, serious uh, coffee person or uh, chocolate beverage person uh, you could probably fill it up to 18 ounces and go ahead and mix up whatever you're mixing up and just throughout the day just take a five minute break warm it up have a cup so yeah there it is I believe it will boil um, check out all the steam let's go ahead and check it out one more time as far as the temperature goes hundred and sixty eight degrees I think bowling is like 212 so I don't know if we'll ever get to bowling but uh I mean you can't drink bowling water anyway so uh, yeah it's pretty cool I, I like it I'm kind of surprised it works as well as it did I thought it might take like 30 minutes or something to heat up but uh yeah under five minutes and I'm drinking a cup of coffee uh, right now it's uh, 1150 so that's like uh, 10 minutes nine to ten minutes Anyway, there it is. Office in the car. Auto beverage heater. Thanks for watching the video. Till next time, have a nice day. Take care. Take care.